I have unwavering passion to help, which means it's gonna come with some pain. It's your fucking fault. Who the fuck wants to hear that? No one. I'm a purebred entrepreneur for real, for real, for real. Like, documented. Been through the mud and now I'm growing in sunshine. Today's gonna be pretty epic. What do you think about when packs just straight up copy each other? Example, Clapper looks just like TikTok. Burger King looks like McDonald's. Adidas looks like Nike. Toyota looks like Ford. Nature of business. Life. You look like a BMX hipster. <laughs> For reference. Perfect. What I want to do is like have as much interaction with everyone as possible. Yeah. How do I feel? I feel good when I walk into this office and I watch that people are like actually enjoying interacting with each other. I feel very strongly that we're heading in the right direction on that front. I want you to enjoy your days more and I want our business to grow more. That's why it's required for us to be vainer, not like the rest of the industry. I'm just very inspired by who we are and I'm very passionate about our culture. I'm very passionate about the Honey Empire stuff. I'm passionate about kind candor. I want to build an enormous company so that everyone looks up to us because if they look up to us then they have to copy us. And if they copy us, that means they have to be nice to each other. How many people here have worked at another agency? Raise your hand. Great. How many people feel like this is a nicer company than the one they used to work for? Raise your hand. That inspires the shit out of me. Thank you. One of the biggest reasons social has not been taken serious enough by the best creative agencies in the world is because it's too hard. Not because it's completely like, I don't think it's cool. It's because it's harder. It's a lot easier to come up with a tagline and make a video and put on TV. What makes it so hard? The speed in which the consumer attention is evolving, the speed in which the platforms are competing with each other, the real discipline of what we call PAC, platforms and culture. So on an everyday basis, understanding that today, Instagram cares more about its carousel ads and you need to make those versus a regular post. There's a level of being on the pulse, a day trading that most agencies are not fast enough for. They're not built for that. They're built for briefs and meetings and pitching. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. I think I've got everything. Amazing. Self-esteem is clear to me at this point in life, which is surround yourself with more positive people, surround yourself with more positive noise. You need to understand that everything that comes into your body, like food, from a communication and energy standpoint, is affecting you. And if you start hanging out with people that want you to win, you will have more self-confidence. If someone's telling you you're beautiful versus telling you you're ugly, if someone's telling you you're awesome instead of you suck, you're a different person. Self-awareness is much harder. The only thing I've ever seen that's worked is making people that know you the best feel so safe when you ask them for critical feedback. Just tell me what you think. And then also doing that with 10 people because you know that people have different opinions. And then if all 10 of them say that you're a little lazy and you don't see it, there's probably a good chance you're lazy. Awesome, well thank you very much, Gary. Cheers, I can't wait to see all of you in Australia. Cheers. Thanks, Gary. Bye bye. See you soon. Got it, no worries. It's amazing. Such a pleasure to be with all of you. How to effectively get senior clients to understand the importance and also the attention on social. Senior clients really want to talk business, not marketing. Well, that's what's worked for us. I only talk business. 
One of the reasons that social media is really interesting to me is if you asked any normal person that's smart to some degree that in 2023, is it a good idea to spend money on social media? You'd have to think that the person will say yes. We know what world we live in. But there are many clients we have that spend more money on print than they do on social. That's insane. The first question you have to ask is how do you measure brand? That is the number one first question. And they're gonna answer with a report. And then you gotta ask them how the data goes into the report. And that's where the conversation starts to get interesting. And so as you can imagine, now all of a sudden you're in a meeting, they're saying how do you measure this? And I go, hey, real quick, before I explain the ROI of social, how's your ROI metrics on your reporting looking for last year? Great but why is your business down 12%? And then all of a sudden, it completely undermines the way they measure, and it changes everything. Thank you, everyone. Hope you have a great day. Cheers. Nice Andy. Thank you so much. So nice to spend time. Life is what you decide it is. The human perspective is the ultimate weapon. I always say that you find what you're looking for. If you think the world sucks, good news. Turn on the television, grab your phone, go on social media, go pick up a newspaper, and in 20 minutes, you will see that the world sucks. Comma, if you decide the world is the best, good news. Turn on the television, go grab the newspaper, go grab your phone and go on social media, and you can find that the world is the best. And I am fascinated by that variable. Anyway, love you. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on. Hi. How are you? Very good. Thanks so much for making the time. I appreciate it. It's been great. Now it's the time for an elevator pitch. That's right. Just, yeah. just what he wants. He just got to complain and now we got to chill out. We can sit here in silence if you do. The answers are always so not obvious. Like the concept of accountability, like blaming, feels like so counterintuitive to what we're trying to do. It took me a long time to understand what you were saying. Hmm. I get it, brother. The first couple times I heard you talking about it, I was like, oh, now that makes me feel like shit. Correct. Correct. It's funny you say that, because it's how I learn how to say things too. Me knowing that me talking about accountability, it's your fault, wasn't landing with a majority, was like, okay, what can I do about this? And it, and notice how somewhere along the line, like a year ago, I would say something like, but that doesn't mean that you suck, yeah. right? Yeah. By adding I, that, I, yeah, that really helped. Mm-hmm. that's not a bad thing, it's a good thing. I have unwavering passion to help, which means it's gonna come with some pain. It's your fucking fault. Who the fuck wants to hear that? No one. They will run away from that at all costs. It's why it's the middle. It's balance.